Hello, here is an example of doing area under the curve to find work um, of isokinetic dynamometer from the HUMAC data. This is from the research mode of the HUMAC, uh, not the normal mode that does a lot of those calculations already for you. Um, doesn't do, do this one in particular though. Uh, <coughs> plus you don't have as much control in those regular modes, so that's why we used research mode. So beforehand, we got to get started with a couple things. I'm going to put in a column for work, and that'll be in joules. And then I'm going to add a column for time in milliseconds. So we recorded at 1,000 hertz. Uh, sorry, at 100 hertz. So what we're going to do is we're going to put equals to this and divide it by 100. If you were to record it at 1,000 or whatever speed, you just divide by the denominator would be that number, however many frames per second or, or hertz that would be. So this is now in milliseconds. All right, now that we have that set up, we need to figure out where this person started exercising. So we see the velocity here is zero. We gotta look for when velocity and position start to change a lot. Okay, there's just a slight change here. It's not really anything. We're gonna keep on going down. All right, we're starting to get a change right here. About two seven, uh, two point six seven seconds or so. I'm going to insert column. Uh, so, sorry, insert rows. I'll call this start exercise. And then I also want to find the end of exercise. So I can see these numbers are changing, going up and down, up and down. And this may take just a little while, because this person probably exercised for a good amount of time. You can still see the numbers changing. All right. I went past it, so somewhere about right here is where I'd say it stopped. Alright, let's insert two more. Let's just figure out how long that is. We'll take the end, divide it by, oh sorry, minus the beginning, so 107 seconds. Now we need to translate this these numbers into work. So to do that, we're going to do the F equals to absolute value of this number multiplied by difference in distance, change in distance, multiplied by 2 times pi divided by 360. All right. So because this right here is 0, these two numbers are 0, it becomes 0. We already added a cut down here, so we can just go ahead and back right here. We will double click this and apply that throughout. All right, so we are calculating the amount of work done throughout. And then if we want the total amount of work, we'll find the sum of that. And that's it.